Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make capirotada. Capirotada is similar to bread pudding. It's a super easy traditional recipe to make during the holidays. Now let's go over the ingredients. For this recipe you'll need five piloncillos, a peel of an orange, one cinnamon stick, and four cloves. And we're talking about clove, the spice that looks just like that. Seven cups of water. You'll need four to five bolillos. You'll need one pack of queso fresco, one cup of peanuts, half a cup of raisins, and one and a half cups of prunes. And what I did to the prunes, I just chopped them up into little fourths, into smaller little pieces. Set your burner on a medium low heat. And once you see your water starting to boil, you wanna add your piloncillo. If you can't find it by the name of piloncillo, you might find it as panela or at your local Mexican grocery store by the name of panocha. Add your lemon zest, your lemon peel, cloves, and your cinnamon. Friends, this is the Mexican potpourri for your home. It smells absolutely divine. And I know you're gonna get really excited and some of you are gonna start selling this scent. And if you do, make sure to let me know. Um, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna place the lid over our pot and you don't wanna completely seal it cause it might pour over. So just leave a little crack like that and continue to cook on a medium low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. It shouldn't take you any longer than that. While our syrup is being made, we're gonna get started on toasting our bolillo bread. One of the things you can do, you can do this the night before and you can slice your bread like this and allow it to harden on its own or you can toast it. Either way, it's gonna taste just as good. And you're gonna do that to all of your pieces of bread. Once you've sliced your bread and placed it on your baking dish, you wanna make sure that your oven is placed at 400 degrees. You're gonna to continue to bake for six to eight minutes. After six to eight minutes, you're gonna go and then you're gonna flip your bread to the other side and you're gonna continue for another six to eight minutes. We just want them to be nice and toasty for uh, this recipe. Our syrup is ready, our bread is ready, and now it's time to assemble our capirotada casserole. I've buttered our baking dish and now it's time to start placing our pieces of bolillo. I'm gonna begin by soaking our bread just a little bit. Get those flavors started. And next, you wanna start layering your pieces of queso fresco. You can do big chunks, you can crumble it over the top just like this. And if you don't have queso fresco or you don't have a preference for it, not to worry, asadero works great for this particular recipe because it has that buttery flavor and because I'm recently just obsessed with it. They're, there's nothing better than asadero cheese at the moment, you guys. There just isn't. When it's done right, it's done right. Next, I'm gonna sprinkle our raisins, prunes, and if you don't have a preference for prunes, that's okay. The prunes add a really sweet flavor to this um, capirotada that is just out of this world. Especially when you combine uh, prunes with cheese, it, it works. And next you wanna sprinkle your roasted nuts. You don't like peanuts, skip them. If you add almonds to this, it's gonna be too heavy. So just skip it. Think maybe some little honey roasted cashews might work. And now we're gonna start pouring some more of our syrup right over the top. When you're making your syrup, don't let it get too thick because we want our bread to absorb the syrup. And if you make it too thick, it's not gonna happen. You're gonna have hard pieces of bun here and there, and you don't want that. And now we're gonna place our capirotada in the oven at 380 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And boom, done, amigos. We're ready for a taste. And this one here is for my sweet older son. He's very selective in his eating, and all I did here was use banana, asadero cheese, toasted bread, and our syrup. Friends, I'm gonna be serving in one of our parfait cups and I'm gonna add a little bit of the syrup because I absolutely love it. 
And then I'm just gonna scoop out my pieces of capirotada. This is one of the recipes that I'm gonna recommend that you don't overdo it as far as your toppings, whatever the suggestions are, roll with that. And just a little more porque, like I said, I really love this syrup and everything during the holidays. <laughs> I know how to make this better. You know what we're gonna add? Crema. Really? You're like the Views Club. No, some whipped cream. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> I'm praying that there's some whipped cream left because my kids have been loving this stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh... Thank you so much. You're welcome. You guys know Cloud loves her sweets. And be careful because it's hot. No quiero que se me empache. Oh, wow. Oh, you like? Oh, it's amazing. Amigos, I know that every region has their particular way of making capirotada. Our way is Sonora style. Uh, Cloud and I skip the tomatoes and the onions and we make it comfortable for our home. But if you don't have a family recipe, not to worry. Cloud and I, we, we got you, we're friends. Use this one. Mmm. 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 I love it. Don't be turned off by the cheese. Just like cheddar cheese works with apple pie, it also works with this amazing capirotada. It works just great. Does. It really does. I love having this uh, recipe, not just like during the holidays, but whenever it gets cold outside and we put on a movie late at night and we're having family time, this is just such a delicious treat. Mm. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. Let us know in the comments the way that your family enjoys capirotada or your bread pudding. And on that one, amigos, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!